Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun, the largest planet in the solar system. It is a gas giant, which means it is composed mainly of gas and liquid. It has a mass exceeding two and a half times all the other planets in the solar system combined. The planet is one of the brightest objects in the night sky. Jupiter is composed mainly of hydrogen and helium. It likely has a rocky solid core, but the surface is not well defined. Jupiter's atmosphere shows patterns of cloud bands and a great red spot, which has been visible for hundreds of years. The great red spot is larger in size than Earth. Apart from having at least 79 moons, Jupiter also has a faint ring system. The magnetic field is about 14 times stronger than Earth magnetic field. The largest moon, Ganymede, has a diameter about one and a half times the diameter of Earth's moon, which makes it slightly larger in size than a planet Mercury. Here are some physical characteristics of Jupiter. The planet's diameter is about 11 times Earth's diameter, and the mass is about 318 times Earth mass. The rotation period is 9 hours and 55 minutes, which is very fast, so one Jupiter day is just about 10 hours. The orbital period is 11.9 years, that makes a Jupiter year, about 12 Earth years. The distance from Earth is about 35 light minutes, depending on the orbital position. In other words, it takes 35 minutes for the light from Jupiter to reach Earth. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is about five times the distance between Earth and the Sun. As mentioned earlier, Jupiter has at least 79 moons. The four largest moons were discovered by Galileo Galilei and are called the Galilean moons. These are Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. That observation was the first discovery of the Copernican motion of the planets, which is not centered around Earth. Galileo's support for this theory got him in trouble with the Inquisition. In 1992, about 350 years after Galileo Galilei presented his theory 
the Vatican apologized for condemning it. It takes about three years to reach Jupiter for a flyby mission of a space probe if it is going along a straight path, while orbital probes take about twice as long. The reason is it takes longer time to decelerate at the same time as more fuel is needed for that reason. In case a probe uses gravity assist to increase velocity, speed can be increased at the same time as the path becomes longer. The path then has to pass near another planet to use its gravity field to swing the probe towards the goal. There has been several flyby missions to Jupiter. During the 70s there were the Pioneer 10 and 11, then the Voyager 2 passing Jupiter in 1979. Ulysses solar probe passed Jupiter twice in 1992 and in 2004. Then the Cassini probe passed Jupiter on the way to Saturn in the year 2000, which sent back high resolution images of the planet and its moons. The New Horizons probe passed Jupiter in 2007 for a gravity assist on the way to Pluto. It returned a lot of images and information about all four Galilean moons as well as observations of some of the outer moons. The Galileo mission was the first to orbit Jupiter. It entered an orbit at the end of 1995 and gathered data for seven years. During that time it did several flybys of the Galilean moons. A 340 kg atmospheric probe was released from the spacecraft into Jupiter's atmosphere, gathering data while parachuting into the atmosphere. The orbiter was later also steered into the atmosphere in 2003. The Juno mission arrived in 2016 and was planned to perform 37 orbits. After 12 science orbits, the budgeted plan was supposed to end in 2018 but it was extended to July 2021. In January 2021, the mission was extended to 2025, including four lunar flybys of the Galilean moons. The mission is planned to end the same way as the earlier missions, by letting the probe fall into Jupiter's atmosphere and disintegrate. One reason there is much interest to study Jupiter's icy moons is the possibility of underground liquid oceans, mainly on Europa, but also on Ganymede and Callisto. These oceans may contain life. Thank you. 